I'm Mercedes. I play in the band Soft Cult. We're on tour with Movements, Manic and Pussy, and Heart to Gold right now in sunny Chicago. And this is my rig rundown. This is my baby. It is a Fender Professional 2 Series Jazzmaster. We love Fender in this band, uh, and I think the Jazzmaster is my favorite guitar I've ever played. I use really light strings. I actually use nines, um, the Ernie Ball uh, Super Slinkies, because uh, I don't have a very heavy right hand. I don't. I kind of just play really lightly, um, and I love getting super bendy with it, so the lighter gauge is really nice for that. Uh, pickup wise, I tend to ride the rhythm pickup a lot because it's got a much warmer sound and it's got sort of a woofier, grittier tone for um, the chords and stuff. But even the leads, like when I throw fuzz on it, it just has this really nice warm sound that I'm a fan of. So I almost exclusively use the rhythm pickup for this one, which I know is kind of weird, but that's how I do it. So right now, this guitar is tuned to D standard, which is the tuning that most of our songs on the new SDP are in. Um, and for the ones that are in standard, I just throw a capo on the second fret and tune her up. Um, volume wise, I kind of just keep it right at like the loudest it'll go. And tone wise, same. I don't actually adjust the tone knob because there really is no tone knob anymore there. But you can see here, there's kind of a tap. And I like to have it out just so I have a more jangly sound for like the shoegazy vibes. When I push this bad boy in, it gets super gritty sounding, which I like for like the heavier songs. But for the most part, I just leave it kind of open so it's a little bit cleaner sounding. This pick guard, actually is made of a collage of uh, different pieces and cutouts from our zine. We put out like a monthly zine. Um, and one of my friends actually made this. She gets the zine every month mailed to her. So then she just made a collage of her own and put it on a pick guard. And I've just had it on my guitar ever since. It's just like a really unique piece but it's all just glued together there so here I have my in-ear monitor receiver and then I've also got my ears the JH audio they're molded just to my ears although it's hilarious because Phoenix and I have the same shaped ear canal so we can switch out each other's uh, molds but I think that's because we're identical twins so that makes sense and then we have the Sennheiser 300 IEMs, the G3s, um, and we just use a Rack Unit X32 to mix our own in-ears on stage, so it's a game changer for being able to hear yourself, especially any size venue, but even in the smaller size venues, I just way prefer this to using monitors, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to go back. So. so in uh, DC, my head kind of exploded. We don't really know what happened. Um, maybe a tube or a fuse or something super random, a short in the board. But Brent and I both use Victory cabs and Victory heads. Uh, so I emailed them and they sent me another one. I normally use the V4 Copper series. But for the purposes of this tour, I'm using the V4 Sheriff. Um, cool thing about these is they have the amp sims in them. So even if you don't have a cab, which sometimes happens, uh, you can just go directly out with the cab sim. And it's just got a ton of options. The tone sounds amazing. Um, customizable. My um, Copper had like a treble boost, but this one seems to be just a channel switch. You can preset your sims, you know, all the classic knobs for adjusting your EQ and everything. Here we've got like different channels. You can go from the hot rod to the vintage, uh, and then the different gains from hot rod and vintage too. 
Um, but yeah, it really is, it's so light. It's like the size and weight of a lunchbox, literally. And um, they're just gorgeous amps, and I swear by them. For vocals, I use the V7X. The reason I like this mic, it's hypercardioid, so it's really only picking up what's directly in front of it, and it's not picking up cymbals or any bleed from the amps or anything like that, which was a problem before. So this is really good for getting just the pure vocal sound right in my in-ears um, and into the PA as well. This is the fun part. So this is my pedal board. Uh, it's been a long work in progress and it's kind of constantly changing. I'm still swapping in and out pedals, but I start my chain here with the tuner. And then that goes into the Walrus Ages. Um, it's an overdrive pedal, a lot of different settings on it, and I kind of just leave this one on the whole time. Um, so that's like my main overdrive. Even on the cleaner sounding tones, it just gives it a little bit of nice crunchiness on the chords and everything like that, and some more pluckiness on the leads. That goes into the Longsword, if I want like a grittier, grungier tone, you know, for choruses, I just click that on. Um, it's another overdrive pedal. And then it's also got a boost. So if I really need to get super nasty sounding with it, I can just click the boost on. That goes into my fuzz pedal. So this is the, elect um, the Earthquaker Devices Hizumidas pedal. Again, one of my favorite pedals I've ever used, definitely my favorite um, fuzz pedal I've ever used. It's a triangle fuzz, uh, and it just has a lot of different character to it. You can make it really warm and like velcro-y, or you can get really high end -y and like crackly with it, and uh, it's a really versatile fuzz, it's sick. That goes into my Boss Multi Overtone. And I have it set to do a high octave overtone. So it's kind of like an octaver, but it's not glitchy like an octaver gets. And I can throw it on chords and it still sounds really good. So for the super dreamy, washy, shoegazy choruses, when I want a little bit of lift and fullness, that's usually when I put that on. But sometimes in leads, if I want to have a high octave as well, so that it really stands out, I'll throw it on too. It's just kind of a cool one. You can kind of be creative with how you use it. Then that goes into my chorus, which is the Walrus Juliana Chorus. It's a Leslie chorus. Um, again, it's super versatile, but I just have it on the like Leslie sort of um, S wave. And right now it's on the quarter note setting, but you can totally change that. And it's also got other settings to play with as well. But I use this as my main chorus. And that goes into the Earthquaker Devices Afterneath, which is my second uh, reverb. Um, so when I want really cavernous, open reverb, I kind of just throw both of these on, and this is like a second layer that just has a longer trail. There's a few staples that I always have on the board. This one is the Slow Reverb by Walrus Audio. All of us in Soft Cold are huge Walrus Audio fans. Like their pedals are just sort of the best in the game in my opinion. This reverb in particular might be my favorite um, pedal that I have on my board. It's just the nicest, most ambient, beautiful sounding reverb. And it's very customizable. I always have it on the dream setting. Um, and I pretty much keep it like, so there's a bit of clean signal going in, but once I click it on, you get that super dreamy shoegazy feel. And it actually also has a sustain. So if I want to freeze, like I hit a chord and freeze it, it just keeps sustaining forever. So yeah, that's probably my favorite pedal on this board, but they're all really cool. And lastly, that goes into this Strymon El Capistan, which is my delay pedal um, and it's a really cool one because it's got this really vintagey sound you can adjust the repeats the tape age so it can have really like warbly kind of 
old school sounding stuff oh, where every delay oh. kind of the pitch will bend and it's really cool when you use it in like a creative way. You can make it just repeat forever so it kind of feeds back into itself, which is what I do a lot. And it's got a wow and flutter so it can make it sound really old and, and vintage. It's really cool. Well, that was my rig rundown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Mercedes from Soft Cult. If you want to listen to our music, it's everywhere. Check out the videos on YouTube. Check out the Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you like to listen to. We've got a new EP that came out earlier this year called See You in the Dark. Uh, and we're coming to a city near you soon. Thanks for watching.